Hey everybody, Sweetwater. I'm in Henry County fishing between Bassett and Fielddale on the Smith River. This river is notorious for big brown trout and they stock this river with a ton of rainbows. Today, I'll show you a ton of rainbows and a couple of little tiny brown trout. I'll go over what my favorite parts about this river are in terms of a respawning brown trout population big rainbow trout a ton of them and 31 miles of trout streams between the philpot dam and martinsville and just below it but today we're focusing on bassett to fielddale got a limit of fish and uh stay tuned be sure and subscribe to the channel and hit that like button for good luck I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned and you'll see exactly how I caught this limit of rainbow trout. Appreciate you watching. Look, I'm late turning the camera on, but look, this is one of the wild browns. Isn't that a real pretty fish? All right, let's unhook this guy, let it go. One of the real pretty browns. One of the few reasons why this is one of my favorite stocked trout rivers because one reason is because there are wild brown trout here they have a really big slot in which you cannot keep them which is another draw or appeal for this river because they have to be over 24 inches to keep it's 10 to 24 is the slot and uh among other reasons why I really love the Smith River. Uh, I'd mention it's a stocked stream. Well, when they stock this, the hatchery puts a ton of fish in here, which is another appeal. And lastly, oh, oh I just missed lastly, one. Lastly, the Smith River has 31 miles of river that has trout in it. So... If one spot or pull off is overcrowded, you have 31 miles of river to work with. And all of those things make this to be one of my favorite places to come trout fish. Got one. It's a little one. Oh my gosh, and he swallowed the hook. That's a pretty little rainbow. Caught it on this Berkeley gulp. Little tiny gulp. Oop. All right. That's my third trout for the day. One little rainbow I fumbled with the camera. And uh, I let the first one go. One brown and now the second rainbow. And so to explain how I'm catching these fish, I've got a Berkeley gulp minnow on a trout magnet jig head, a 32nd of an ounce up to a trout magnet little float and right now i'm fishing a really deep run so i'm running this like three feet deep and essentially what i'm doing is just casting up river into the run and watching my float there it is right there and uh just making a drift and oh there it goes got him fish on <laughs> that worked out well A little rainbow, a little rainbow. Uh, gotcha. All right, let's have a look. It's about the size of the first one. beautiful fish I love this Smith River let's get a release on this peace out little trout 
one more thing to add about drifting this float with a Berkeley gulp under it is I like to match the speed of the current. Oh, fish on. Oh, got him. Sometimes you can aggravate a fish into biting by twitching it. Uh, but really, I've found that the best results come from just matching the speed of the current. Ooh, that's a really pretty one. Got him. This one's going on the stringer. This is too pretty not to take home and put on the grill. Let's get a look at this fish. This is one pretty, pretty, pretty rainbow. What a gorgeous fish. Well, that's one for the cooler. But for now, we'll put you on the stringer and we're gonna keep fishing. Again, man, look at all the spots. How beautiful that fish is. Berkeley Gulp. Even the belly's speckled. What a fine specimen. Let's get you, get you on the stringer. All right, so I am all the way down at the bottom end of this deep run here. And I've worked from the front of it all the way down to the tail end where I am now. And I've been running this Berkeley gulp under a, under a float. And I've picked up uh, five fish, I think. And I'm gonna stay here and make this drift a few more times and if the fish are turned off of this berkeley gulp i will tie on an inline spinner it should be a duck and buck hand tied lure by blair but i don't have any at the moment so it's probably going to be a rooster tail or a joe's fly but i should be able to pick up one or two more fish working back up to where i started you know with a completely different presentation so stick around and find out See how I do with that spinner. Y'all, I found, I called my shot. I, I'm all the way up here in the front of this pool. And I just found a, I just found a little brook trout with the, uh, or is that a little brown? That's a little brown. I don't know. I think it's a brown. What, got him on the little spinner. I called it. Pretty little fish though. Let him go. Thanks. Got one. First, first drift in the new spot. You darn right. That that guy's good. Again, guys, match the speed of the current. I think I'm gonna let this one go. It's on the small side. Thanks. Peace out, little trout. Pretty little bow. Pretty little bow. So they're all about cookie cutter size. But that one's got a little bit more meat on it. I'll go ahead and keep this one. Oh, that's a decent one. Jump, fish, jump. Gotcha. All right. Yes, sir. That's a much better fish. All right, guys, we moved way up the mountain. And we're really close to the Philpot Dam right now. And I had the camera on and I just caught and released my 10th fish and the first fish of the day on the fly rod. And I wasn't recording any of it. Oh, got another one. Oh, sick. next cast, come back. Come back cast, don't call it a comeback. Oh, these are fighting strong fish in the current. Come here, get in the net. Gotcha. All right. But I'm just working. You can see the line of whitewater rapids. This side of those rapids, it's a bit of a calm, not a calm spot, but 
kind of a small eddy there and i'm just trying to, i'm trying to drift both edges of that soft water that's the term that's soft water compared to the that white water on both sides of it oh bobber's under oh there's still fish in this pool y'all oh it's under got him oh it came unbuttoned oh it came unbuttoned oh i may not get another chance at that fish all right it's the end of the day I'm tired and exhausted from hiking all around but having a good time i've caught 11 fish two on the fly rod and i'm trying to catch one more to close the video with a fish so i'm back at a pool where i've caught a couple of fish earlier today some other people have fished this same spot but one fish to close the video let's go I asked for it, <laughs> and I got it. <laughs> That's a six fish limit. <laughs> and we're going to close it right there thanks for watching if you made it this far through the video i really appreciate you watching please subscribe to the channel hit the like button for good luck and stay tuned for our next future videos saltwater fishing's coming up so that should be exciting cobia puppy drum speckled trout maybe a flounder mission tall tog you never know But I'm going to get this guy on the stringer and call it a day. Thanks for watching.